Hey there, today I'm doing another video with ideas for a Rectus journal book. So the first page that I did was document time passing and I decided to do this little seed and it grows into a plant and I'm pretty sure people have done that before, I don't know. <laughs> I've seen so many Rectus journal pages at this point that I can't say that anything that I do is original anymore. But I did come up with this one on my own, at least I think so, I really don't know. And yeah, I used gouache in there, you can also use, I don't know, all kinds of supplies, just make sure that it doesn't bleed through to the other page too much. I think gouache bled through a little bit and I used watercolors later on which bled through a lot. <laughs> Just always be aware of that because the paper is not the best in this book but it's okay we make do <laughs> and yeah it's just a fun book anyways it's not like the things in there are gonna look too professional at least not in my case and then I added in some weather symbols like the sun and the moon and some stars and some clouds. I don't know. There was a lot of empty space and I felt like this was fitting. And I should have stopped after that when it comes to adding in stuff. But unfortunately I didn't. <laughs> as always do as I say, not do as I do. Um, because I think I really overdid this page, I don't know. We're still fine at this point, I'm still adding in some details to the plants, which is totally fine by me, but later on I added in a lot of background stuff. <laughs> yeah, so if you do that, uh, you could also add in like flowers or something like that, or make it a tree, it doesn't have to be a green leafy plant it's just I didn't have a lot of space so I stopped with the leaves and I really love those kind of plants that don't even have flowers I don't know yeah you can see that I'm now adding in all those things yeah and it gets messier and messier <laughs> I don't know I like it on at some on some level, but on the other I don't. But I don't have to like everything that I do. I still want to include it. I still want to show everything that I do because I'm not perfect and not everything that I do is perfect. And that's what I'm preaching on this channel, that you don't have to pressure yourself into creating good art. Just create art. So maybe some of you will think that this page looks totally cool and everything. And I'm aware of that. And I don't know, you might think, why am I even not liking this page? But it's just personal preference, I guess. And I think you're always more critical with your own art. But I think it doesn't really matter if it's perfect or not if you really like it or not it's art I think I mean that's the most important thing just create something and if it doesn't look that great or like you imagined it just move on to the next piece <laughs> that's what I'm preaching and that's what I'm showing and on the left side I just added this leaf pattern I wanted it to look really um I don't know like stylized and not have too many details just be this kind of pattern and I really like the page on the left side and I think that it makes the page on the right side look better so I'm happy with that I can totally live with this page spread so that's the first page spread then I did the page create a non-stop line and I did exactly what the instructions told me to at least I think so. And I added in a nonstop line. It's so fun to watch this sped up, to be honest, because this took quite some time and I lifted my pen a lot of times because I did not want to do this challenge where you don't have to lift your hand. I would probably my hand would hurt so badly. So that wasn't the best idea for me. So I figured I'd just 
try to create a non-stop line and be happy with that and I just did all those doodles here I really didn't think about it at all I just did whatever came to mind and then on the right side just to add in a little bit more detail make it look a little bit more interesting I added in a heart I drew that heart with a pencil at first and then I just left this space so that it would create this heart shape and I really like that I'm really happy with this even though it's a really easy and simple page but sometimes you just need those easy kinds of pages then there's this page this space is dedicated to internal mono monologue <laughs> and I did this very early in the morning and in English even though English isn't my first language so I don't know and I had all kinds of weird thoughts I'm pretty sure you're gonna read it <laughs> you don't have to but it's okay I don't know I don't care and then I added in a rainbow background because I love rainbows and they're gay and I just love them and it was really fitting so that's that please copy exactly that page idea <laughs> I don't know if you can use that idea for your journal and then I did the last page which was just a very random page I already went for a walk with my journal and I really didn't feel like doing anything that fit this theme but I also didn't have a lot of blank pages left where you can do whatever you want so I thought I'd just use this page and I put some stickers in there. Those are those kinds of stickers that you get in the store when you buy a certain amount of stuff and then you get free stickers to collect. I don't know if you have that where you live. Let me know down in the comments if you have that. Where I live we often have these, I don't know, it's just... Uh, sometimes you get those stickers at certain stores and you get this you can collect them which it costs you a lot of money in the end I think because a lot of those stickers you have to buy and some you get for free I never collected these even not even as a kid and I just added in backgrounds to them on the left side and then on the right page I just doodled some stuff over there with those uh, shimmery watercolors I think that it looks better in real life than it does on the on the video but it's okay so this was my last page spread I really hope that you liked this video and if you did so please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel I'll see you next time goodbye